Alright then. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can actually get out of this mess, guys, because I think this is going to go one or two ways. Well, you mean that, and welcome. My name is Shusha Anime, and welcome back to Frambo. Now, if you remember a little while ago, we actually uh, managed to solve the puzzle by totally not cheating, I swear. Actually, I did cheat. I'm sorry. I think the syringe can be useful. So now we are going to find exactly what the hell we got to do in this room because now um, I keep forgetting the skeleton's name, even though I like him, and now he's taken Mr. Nightmare away, which is very heartbreaking. We are now going to find out exactly what we need to do. So, guys, Yukimashoka. And one more. There we go. So what's this? Oh, it opened. Okay, we need a fuse. This looks like a small ventilation as well. It is. Cables that connect to each other is all that is. And it looks like the machine needs some energy to wake up. Which well, is not wrong. We need to find a fuse. And now I don't think he was afraid of bunnies. Maybe I could use the... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I use the carrot with the rabbit? No, um... Oh, it's worth trying. Oh, why did you scare Itwood? That's his name, Itwood. Anyway, you are very cute. I don't think it scared Itwood. I think it was a trick. I won't turn. Um, what should I do? I think it likes to push buttons. This. Just this. This. Two. Wait, there's numbers everywhere. Two. F Shink. Tree. There's four numbers, or oh, five numbers. Enna. Um, hello, are you Itwood's up ahead like the hat. Maybe that's the real Itwood there. It would made a paper boat. So we've got a one there, we've got a two here. We've got three here, we've got four here, and we've got five over there. Crat. I need something from here. I need, like, a fuse, maybe. Lovely plants. You give lots of air for me to breathe. But what's this over here, though? This is a tree. Maybe I have something that I can put in there? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe. Just maybe. No. Never mind. Alright, this button is for the elevator, I'm guessing, to work. Oh, thank you. Oh. Fuck you. Okay. I can't climb in the elevator if it's already up there. So that's what makes the elevator go. So, if I can't grab that, maybe I can substitute that for the carrot? Yes, okay. There we go, okay, I was, I was wrong, but I was almost right. It was just a matter of being quick. Okay, battery. Batteries. Battery placing? Yeah, it works. So I need to find a way to make that button go off. That's what I need to do now. But now that I've got the battery in, what does that do for me? Oh wait, I've got to turn the wheel. Ah, thank you. I didn't have to cheat on that one. Oh, oh no, that's Fran's parents. Oh no, hello. There's nobody in there. I'm gonna have to do this, aren't I? Are you? Yep. Ah. Uh. Oh, oh, no. Mummy, Daddy, who did this to you? Why is there a teapot? 
Why is there a teapot? I don't like this. Is this to make music with the wind? I don't know. Oh. I have to... I've seen these in movies. The thief always knows what to do. I wonder how long it would take me to just keep on doing this to find the right one. It's a reset. Oh, it's a code! Ah, oh, it's a code! A teapot water thrower. Some, this is a massive dangerous weapon. Why is it a dangerous weapon? Oh, hold on a minute. Water symbol, I guess it's connected to something. Alright, that doesn't work. So, maybe I could... No? Okay. I must say, this is very bizarre. Hello, there's nobody in there. Oh, hello. Alright, it's probably going to go over there into the... No, never mind. Maybe I've got to fill my thing up. Yes! Yes! I used my brain! So maybe now I can pour the water in this. No, um. I've got to think now where can I use this water? So, how do I do this then? So, I remember there was the 5, 4, uh, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 thing. But, is that for this? And why do I need the water? Do I need to um, give it to that plant that's dying downstairs? I'm guessing I do because it's dying. So let's see if this actually helps it. I'm clever enough to find another solution. Okay. So what do we need this for? Plants. Can we water the plants? Um, it won't do. Maybe I could combine it with... The... Okay, I can't combine it with the carrot. Never mind. So what can I use this for? Maybe I can use it for that tree in the corner? I can't do that. Okay. What can I do it for then? Alright, so it's three, five, two, one, four. But what are these hinting at? Crat. Inner. This. Shank. Three. So that's three, five, two, one, four. But what the hell do I need this water for? I'm already stuck. I am already stuck. Where can I chuck this carrot? Can I chuck it in here? Maybe I can use the... No, I can't because... Knocking the door went here. It's still locked. So it's... It's... it's four, three, five, two, one, four. Three, five. No, wait a minute. Three... Five... Two... One... One, two, three, four. Okay, I thought I had an idea then, but never mind. 
Why can I put... Why have I got a carrot? Can I combine it with a knife? Nope. Of course, uh, chucking a carrot won't do anything. So what does this magical carrot do? I won't even try that. So what would the fan do? Is there anything I missed down below in the other worlds? Is there? Because I don't think I've done that yet. Oh. A mechanical rabbit is not very cute. You ain't kidding. Uh, it would dead. Eight. Right. Six. Right. The other one's behind the mechanical rabbit, sir. How do I move you? How do I move the rabbit? Do I pour water on it? NV, nine left. Eight left. So it's telling me the directions I need to turn it now. Water. Oh, a carrot! Yes! Shank. So I need to find out the order now. I'll keep another carrot just in case. So we found out the use of the magical carrot. But we still don't know the order. Because of course there's blood here. But if I'm following left to right, it will be eight left, nine left, then five right, Wasn't it eight left and six right? So I'm guessing the one that's behind the bunny is the direction I need to begin with. It's five right. I need to remember this, god damn it. Um Oh god. Can I take a pencil? Of course I can't, it's a bloody pencil. I'm going to figure out which number is first and work out from there, guys. Because I don't want to be stuck at this forever. The combination should be 8 right, 5 right, 8 left, 6 right, 9 left. Okay, that's going to be a bit difficult, but I'll try. So I was not supposed to follow it by which it was. So it's 8 right, 5 right, 8 left, 6 right, 9 left. So 13 right. right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh! Oh, I've done it! i done it! Okay! Slightly cheated, but i done it. All right, where is it, Wood? Oh, you prick! Surprise, Fran! Happy birthday! Have a birthday party? Well, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm so very sorry. I'm very sorry to have fooled you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. I don't trust Mr. Midnight anymore. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Alright, thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Itwood, sir. This cake is made of all ingredients alike, Mr. Midnight. Told me which ones. 
<laughs> and where we have something very special for you from all members of the ship. That means all of us naturally born our homemade things, beings. Here you go. If you find it educational. What is that? Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead, open it. I don't like this. Oh. Oh, no. Wow, a cat doll. Aw, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new perception. Perception, you know, like an ultra reality. Is this what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Oh, gosh. Oh, God. I feel like this could change the ending. Um. Oh. oh, gosh. If I ask, I might not be able to escape the ultra realities, but if I don't ask, will I be told them anyway? I'm going to go with yes. Yes, please. Look, what you're seeing is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, as this exact coordinate and time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. It's because of the time humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsules, encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. They have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to the definitions. Do you understand what I say? I'm not sure, sir. I think maybe. I feel a bit dizzy. Uh, <laughs> there may be the ship going up and down. Blowing the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we we're about to go home? Did you hear that, Kitty? Yes, we're about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting. All right, here I go. Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't like this. Oh, no. No, no, no. Yep, it's already went bad. Oh dear, what's happening, Mr. Midnight? Are you alright? I'm alright, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. It would. Fran, you had to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. Oh. There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. Clean the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty, I'm scared. Me too, my friend. I've already got water, so I'm already one step ahead. We have to find the Kamala. We have to find the Kamala. I already heard the water destroys it. Let's go. So where is this Kamala? Is he here? No, it's the twins. It's not up here. It's not in here. So where is the Kamala? Because I already have the water, so I have the capability to do it. Oh god, that's still creepy. <gasps> ah, there you are. Hi. Hi. Have it, beast. Be gone, what? Ah, oh, don't run away. Where are you going? So now I need to go back to the roof to get some more water to find it, don't I? Oh. There you go, mate. <laughs> so now I no longer have the water in bucket. Come on, get out of here already. Be gone, thought. Come on, I want to get rid of this thing. There we go. I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to it with. So I already done that bit of the puzzle without even realising it. Go away, twins. It was sir. We did it. The Kamala is gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We are going down. No, please, don't tell me this. It's not fair. Not fair. 
Oh, come on! She so badly wants to go home! I will always take care of you, my dear. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I've got so many freaking ideas now for the thumbnail. Oh, and the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. It looks like a giant bug. Oh, the end. What do you mean the end? That was a very sad ending. It went. Tell me another story, please. What? All right. This is the story of Fran Burmy. When she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything. <laughs> I promise it. I'll never forget you. Oh no. Good. Now it's time to sleep. I have a very bad feeling about it would now. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. <laughs> but I feel like he's a good guy, though. I really feel like he's a good guy. Do doctor's prescription? Wait, why are we at the doctor's now? What? Oh my god, Bambi, hello. Hi, Bambi. It would, is that you? It would. Ow, oh, Kitty, we're alive. We survived the crash. Oh dear, yes. We are alive. Mm, but it would is gone. But he brought us home. We are outside the town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about it. What is it? It's just that I don't know where Edward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, yes, Kitty. But I took all the pills already, see? The bottle is empty. You druggy. <laughs> anyway, let's go home. Maybe it will come to me someday. So I have no more pills. Is there anything that I can check around here? Are it bicycles? Is it what's bicycle or mine? What do you mean by that? Oh! Oh my goodness, this is our street kitty! Hey, street! Yes, it is! I really feel like something's wrong. I don't like this feeling, guys. I really, I really don't like this. Something's not right. Is that my house? Is that my house? And here we are. This looks much more great than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. The flowers are quite dead. Too bad. I hope it rains. Is this... Oh, hello. Oh! It says I took the key. Signed, Fran. Fran, that's me! What? Aunt Grace, hello! Maybe she's not home, dear. Do you have a key to go inside? No, I don't have the key, but I know where the key is hidden somewhere. I just need to remember where. Let's find it. I have the key, apparently. So, Fran already took the key, but where is the key? Because we just looked here. So I took the key, so Fran. Fran, it's me. But I haven't taken the key, and I didn't write that note. It's also confusing. What should I do now? Maybe there's a way to climb in the house? Oh, that's the window to my room. Do we have a way to climb? Can we climb up this? Can we get you must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. That was what I was thinking. I think who, I think whoever's here is inside the house. I don't like it. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I didn't remember writing. But now in order to get inside it, you must climb and open the door for me. Uh, all right then, wish me luck. You do it, Kitty. Be careful. Go, Mr. Midnight. I still don't trust you, but you're still going to help me. The curtains are waving like a flag. I can't see a thing. Oh, no. No, no. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me, Kitty? Open the door. 
No, not you. Fran, I can't believe this. You're alive. Where were you? Get away from me. I don't want to go back to the asylum. I've been looking for you a long time now. How did you escape? That's none of your business. Leave now, please. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He kind of went through the window on the, on the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end, sir. May I ask why you're here? I came to meet Miss Grace, but I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me, then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. Oh, we're going to find some harsh truth, aren't we? I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. First reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going back to the doctor's. Oh no, he's going to open the door, isn't he? Oh no. Oh no. What am I supposed to do? I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Bin, I say. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I found things that I do not understand yet. He was fired? Why? I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Beloved Fran Bow. What? Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. What is this? Family murder at Hay Street. Bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bodagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hay Street. The investigation, investigating police officer Marco Holmer said it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced which would cause a quick instantaneous death. Also there was no signs of a struggle in the house so the victim must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister. But the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Frambo, was found in the woods one day after a parent's murder. She froze to death. What? What? So I'm dead? Ladies, Hannah. Dear Gladys, let, let the newspaper know about Frambo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parent's murder. No. But I am not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectopla ect ectoplomatine were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplomine. Ectoplomatine? God damn it, that's hard to say. It creates a door between the subconscious and conscious. The problem is, if the ectoplomatine Plumine, plumatine. It's too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir. And also travel into other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be the consequence of duty, nothing more. And it's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you are imagining things, that's all. <sighs> I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with a knife again. My armor... Ah, ah, no! Oh no, oh no, uh, 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 uh. How did your father harm you with his knife, sir, doctor? What? Who told you that? Uh oh, God. Oh, God, no, no. You did, or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh, my goodness, then it's true. 
Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is behind all this. The nurses? Oswald? Who knows? It's Aunt Grace. It's Aunt Grace. Calling it now. It's got to be Aunt Grace or Mr. Midnight. I do know, sir. It's the big fat monster, Rimmer. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants to be dead. I wish I stayed with Ineth Isersta with Polontris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, fan, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Edward and Polontris, and my kitty is all alone. Polontris, it would... Please, Fran. Polontris is the doctor of his first, sir. He's a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Edward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. You seem to have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins have gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia Oh no. Oh no, they're real people. They're actually, oh no. Two girls in the asylum that claim to see a creature named Edward or something. Itwood! It, yes, they saw Itwood. Edward? I think you misunderstand it, sir. It was Itwood. Well, what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. Does he forget that he's talking to a ten-year-old girl? About some serious shit? <laughs> then again, she's already involved, I guess. A few months later, they died, and their bodies were thrown into a well. That was them in the well. Oh, oh, oh. That is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Polontius was right about you. You're not a bad doctor, you're just not about following the rules. Following the rules? <laughs> well, not tonight. So he's got a demon on his shoulder as well. So where are we? Here we are. But this is a cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. We're going to find my grave, aren't we? We're going to find Fran's grave. Well, hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? Fran's grave is here. I know it. Yes. This is your parents' resting place. And also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the laws to punish such behaviours and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what you didn't... For what did you need my help? To find clues. Evidence. We need to open the coffins. Right, sir. I'll help. Maybe the de dealer ones will came already. Who? <clears throat> Anyway, we have to find the shovels to dig. I'll go left and you go right. I'll see you in a few minutes right there, right here, all right? Yes, Dr. Dean. I'll see you soon. What is going on? Oh my god, I'm so curious. That's also where I'm buried? Does that mean that the body in there that is Fran has the key to the house? Is that where the key is? Oh my god, I'm so perplexed. Oh my god. No, no, no flowers. Maybe nobody is down there. Maybe it's no face. I. Hello? Oh, it's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Let's knife it open. No, um. Maybe there's a way to get around. Well, there must be a way to open it. I want to click on the light, but it won't let me. So there's got to be enough way to get in there then, but how? Oh, I'm just going to have myself a uh, drink. Oh wow! Okay, I just found something. I found a keyhole. Alright. I used my brain for something. Maybe I can light the door on fire. Burn it! Damn it, okay. Maybe I can use the picture to get in the... No. Oh, it's worth a try. But 
what is this? How can I open this? I've been curious about this whole thing the entire time. Like, how do I open it? I've got to try and find the guy now. Ah, that's what we need, a crowbar. I hope he doesn't mind me taking it. Of course he won't. I'm just, uh, you know, just steal. I'm, I'm just taking his stuff. Just borrowing. You know? Okay, doke. Okay. Let's go and bar this thing open, shall we? Let's go. Go on, friend. Use your girly muscles. <gasps> what? Shh. You have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. You don't need to blank him. What? Oh, my goodness. A giant. Oh, please don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I see because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. A tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we are trying to find some shiny lever. We need it for the mating ritual. Oh, God. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny lever. Hmm. Yes, last day we used old human skin, but the dealer ones wanted it back. So we are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the lever. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favour? It depends on a favour, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that. But we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of lever and I'll open the door. Alright, giant miss? But why will I ever find that? Huh? Alright, I'll see what I can do. Okay, I think it's the book. Why can't I get this book to him? Is this, this is still the way it is? So where can I find some leather? The teddy bear? A oh, lovely little bear. Yeah, there's me. Wait a minute, it says they're all dead on the same day. Anyway, is this the bear smell of rotten bodies? I want the teddy bear! Maybe I can give him... Do I really have to give him the toy? Do I have to? Nope. So, how do I... Combine with that? Nope. <sighs> how do I get leather? So if I my boots. Could I do it on my boots? But I can't use it myself, that's a police shield. Guess not. I am gonna have to find something in the car then. Oh whoops. So how am I gonna do this? They're quite I'm gonna have to ruin this car, aren't I? Oh he's gonna be pissed. Oh, and that was in his driver's seat as well. That, was, that car had got to be his pride and joy. There we go, piece of level with Sebastian. There you go, mate. Can you let me through now? Wow, well, thank you, Giant Miss. I'll try as the Pinesilus will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. There we go. Oh, are you okay, mate? Ouch, are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm, I'm alright, monsieur. Good, well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, Dimas. Uh, Fabio? Oh, I have the garments. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the lever. There's nothing in here I could use. Really? So we've done that for nothing? Oh, we found one. There you are, Fran. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's do. We're about to find the truth, guys.
Uh, well, now we'll have to come up with something off to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. I want to take the crowbar aside. I needed to, to open the door. Do you want it back? No need, Fram. But you could do the honest opening. She's ten years old! You're letting a ten-year-old open coffins! Alright, sir. I'll open them. You're letting a ten-year-old open a coffin! Oh, uh, here we go. Here's number one. Ah, the coffin can't be opened. This is... It's the dad vote. Uh, I thought they were chopped up. The mother. And now me. Oh, oh I knew it. <laughs> I'm not in the coffin, great. But that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. No. Rema is Mr. Midnight. Rema is Mr. Midnight. Oh, mother, you're so skinny a bit too much, I would say. Oh my goodness, Father, the beaver worms took your eyes. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir, I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You had to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. Alright, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. I'm actually speeding through this at the second. Let's go. Surprisingly, I'm getting through this really, really quickly. Can I please take... I want to take the teddy bear. Oh, Maybe I could cut the teddy bear open. No, I can't use anything. So... <gasps> Rama! 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 Oh, fuck! Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The ones you love, the ones you respect, and the one you desire to love you. What? What? Oh, God. Oh, come on. It's been a while since we've seen him. So the doctor's now dead. You broken little girl. The house of madness invites you inside. Oh no. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Oh. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. I have a feeling that the next episode is going to be the final chapter. Chapter 5, The House of Madness. I know a song called The Sound of Madness, and I like that song. Oh no. That's Aunt Grace. Oh no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no. No, 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 no. Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Am I really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? You can't. Well, you know, he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But well, what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. It was Mr. Midnight. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not in the end. We must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't eat me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining friend, do not, don't you worry about the lies. The secret of truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Why is she rhyming? I don't like this. Little, little shining friend, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer and cry in hate. Wow. But the darkness wants to free you from your disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. 
Ah. Uh, oh no. Oh no, don't leave me here. I'm Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why play Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. He's Rema. I know it. He's Rema. Maybe he's fine. What must I do now? Tick tock, tick tock. Crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said its time is, layered, is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. I'm just imagining things, but if it's true, how can I make contact with her? Dr. Dean said that everything is in my head. I'm going to end... Uh, actually, I'm going to see if I can do that. So, how can I... How can I do that? And this always changed me into the bed. Yeah, I'm paying to the kitty and me. So how do I get out? I want to at least get out of the room. Time for the cuckoo clock. <gasps> oh my god. What? And the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing in my bed? Are you sick? That's a younger friend. Your bed? This is my bed. No, I'm not sick. Oh, why are you chained? Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog in this. I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Well, you are myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Itward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you are broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it, the only way to cross into ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They tell me that to die is just a mental state. They, who are they? Oh, the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Oh, yeah. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, yeah, the man called Leon came to visit once and told me anything, everything. Oh! And can you tell me then why we why we see these things we do? That'd be interesting, though. What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first, then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. I'm going to blame him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? Well, that's our kitty, you know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Uh oh. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. So, I... it so happens I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. I I am going to end it here now, guys. This seems like the perfect place to end it off. This is going to be such a what the fuck ending. I can feel it coming. Oh my god, it's going to be quite tense. But unfortunately, guys, I'm all out of time for this episode. So all I can say now is thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like and video. Subscribe if you want any more from me. And I shall see you in my next video. So much, guys. I shall end it. See you next time.